Hey guys, Mr. one here, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. So last time we took down Phantom of Neverland, the second optional boss, and now we're going to move on to the third optional boss. So let's get started. So I'm back here in Olympus Coliseum, and now you'll notice there are two mystery spots right here. These are the two remaining super bosses, and this one, which you get by, by beating the Hades Cup, this one is the only option if you don't do the Hades Cup, so make sure you do the Hades Cup or else this one's not here. But let's get started. Now I'm going to let you guys know that this is a one-on-one -on -one fight, much just like the other mystery fights, so be careful here. Say hello to the Ice Titan, the gold match. Now, the first thing you want to do right away is reflect those ice crystals that he has, like he throws at you. He can throw um, small crystals like you just saw right there, or he can throw large crystals which you cannot deflect. Right now I'm getting quite fortunate that he's only throwing small ones, but I bet he's about to throw big ones now that I've said that. You cannot reflect the big crystals, okay nice, uh, get out of that. Okay, you can reflect those, and basically you reflect those to his head, and once you've done it enough, it will actually, like, disorient him enough, and when that happens, you basically go in for the kill. Yeah, those are the big ones you can't reflect, so watch out for those. Ugh, get out of there. What you could also do, this is kind of risky because it doesn't always work, but use gravity, but it doesn't always hit its mark, so you gotta be careful where you get that. Like, there it hit, and it does an okay amount of damage, so... If he's not, if he's having a hard time, like, you know, launching the smaller crystals, that can be an alternative way to get off some extra damage, which is what I'm doing right now, if I could actually get it off like that. Okay. Oh, small crystals, to reflect those. Okay. So, yeah. Pretty simple fight. Just make sure that you have patience, because he has five bars. They're not going to go down, like, fairly quickly. They are actually going to be there for quite a little while so you know just stay calm just use your gravity spell if you want reflect those crystals which is really important that you do that and then once something happens I will go into more detail about it now like most bosses the more you deplete his health the more something happens let's see will this do it oh did I just completely miss with that that sucks uh, anyway okay small crystals again okay now once that happens, you fly towards the arena and then you just wail on him. That is the only thing I can say. Just repeatedly attack him and that is how you fight him. Come on, can we get him down the, the other? I guess not. Gravity, go. Oh, I missed. Doh, I missed. Oh god, now he's going crazy with this. He launches a bunch of shit at you. Ugh. Okay, we got... We reflected the larger amount of crystals, so it's all good in the hood. Okay. Now he's going to start dropping ice bombs on you, so just run away from those. Yeah, just keep up. If you just keep running, then they, those won't hit you. Um, but aside from that, just keep up the same strategy, just avoiding all this. Plus, he can freeze the ground now, which, which will make it really slippery. And if you touch it, like, watch, you just fall flat on your ass, so be careful of that. Ugh, okay. And now do some more dodging. You may want to use an elixir in a minute because I'm running low on my MP, so I'll just do that really quickly. Okay. I'd really appreciate if he threw the small crystals again. Thank you. Uh, I could have reflected the other ones, but I missed. And boom. Okay. So, yeah. Nothing else, nothing much left to this fight aside from, you know, just reflecting the crystals and then going over and bashing his head in. Again, this is a pretty simple boss, just like the other ones. If you have a strategy, you should be fine. And from the way things are going, we might actually have him in, like, one more round. So this is going pretty well. Uh, now he's going crazy. With, he's launching both those crystals and the freaking, um... Ah, Jesus. No, I'm an ice cube. I, I do not want to be in your drink. Get out of here. Yeah, he will freeze you now. He'll actually resort to literally freezing you once you've gotten his health down this much. Huh. Okay. 
Now, he has almost, like, just a single bar left. Jump right here and super... Okay, super glide doesn't work. <laughs> just jump out of the way of that. Reflect the crystals, as usual. Ugh, damn it. I don't want to be your ice cube! Get away from me! Ugh. That can be the only problem with this, is that he is just, like, so dickish with how he spams his shit. What? Okay, don't- I was about to say- No, come on, come on, we can get him, get him! Aw, shit. Can we get him with the reflecting crystals at least? Come on, he's right there. Come on, we got this. Yeah! Haha, <laughs> we killed Ice Titan, okay. Six minutes, too, jeez. And now, that makes three out of four of them done. Haha! Uh -huh. I'm a squashy. Uh, oh, I'm just missed. <laughs> and he runs away like a coward. So yeah, there we go. That was Ice Titan, and he <laughs> ran away like a pansy. Nothing to it. And there we go. So that makes three out of the four done. And next time on Let's Play Kingdom Hearts, we will take on the last optional boss. I'm pretty sure the one that everyone's been wanting to see, but. I'm just going to let you guys know you're in for disappointment because it's probably going to be the easiest one for me. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. And we're going to finish off the last boss before the end of the game. So I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.